Hey, hey, welcome to episode 89. I have a lot to go over with you guys today. All right, so uh, I've continued I've continued the cleanup here, and uh, this guy is just working like a dream. Um, one thing that does concern me, though, is you'll notice I'm only getting, you know, the bones and arrows. I'm not getting actual bows. I'm not getting any armor. Um, this was, like, I had that one in there you saw, and I just happened to kill a bunch of zombies, so I just threw the whole stack that I had in there, so, eh. Um, it makes me wonder if maybe the, the, uh, the push, the, the tube system that I built in there, uh, is maybe holding on to some things, and it only pushes them up if one already exists. Not, not quite sure about that, but, uh, Okay, so, uh, moving on, I went and found a bunch of sheep, or not a bunch, but uh, a few sheep over there, and I tried to do the, 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 the lead trick, and I, they kept dying, and I found a bug with the game, or I think it's a bug anyway, where if, uh, if, you're, if you have a mob in tow on a lead and the mob dies, you lose the lead, um, which is kind of silly. Oh, hey, look at him go. <laughs> and that's how I ended up having to get him up top, was that route. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, I started on the... I, I, I got the the situation figured out with the nether portal. I decided to put it into uh, one of the walls up, up top there. Um, so... It, it, rather than being in the center. And then that allowed me to start on the, on the hub... Uh, the tunnel to here, so that way I can start, you know, ripping this stuff out. Oh, and the reason why there's vines hanging there, I, I know that I said I wasn't going to use vines, but the reason those are there was because uh, of all the sheep that were dying, and I was hoping that that might help, and it did not. So, um, one of the things I'm going to be doing here pretty quick is uh, ripping this out. Um, that's how I got sheep up there. And I need the sheep for um, for uh, interior decorating with some cool tricks uh, with carpet, which I'll show you guys here in a second. Uh, let's see what else before I start digging into it. Oh, that's about it. So I think I'll rip this out off camera. I just wanted you guys to see that's how to get sheep up because the lead trick doesn't really work. Um, so let's let's head on up, and I'll show you guys what I've been working on. Uh, it, it took me a while, and it, it was it was pretty frustrating, but I finally got this figured out. Check it out; it's pretty sweet, right? So this is all carpet, and some of this is wool, but you can kind of see the difference right there with that little line there. See, yeah, there you go. So you guys can see the difference. Uh, everything's nice and simple. So you come in through the the portal here, and this is what you see. Now this was raised up, um, and I did like that better than having it inset in the floor, but if it's sitting on top of the wood, you can see the wood. So this just kind of makes it look different. Um, where the white is here, there is, you know, actually I'll just show you. There are jacks underneath. Now, I'm pretty sure that you can use torches, but I think that if you use a torch, uh, the particle effects comes through the carpet. So this kind of this looks different. I could have just used the green, but I thought, hey, eh, it's fun, right? So we take our shears, we jump in here, and boom. So I didn't have to put them in the same, you know, the same pen as the cows, but I figured, eh, why not? So after today, this will. Uh, I'll no longer be using the, the stairs to get up here. I'll be relying solely on the portal if I need to travel or uh, via Ender Pearl just hucking it up here, up and down. Um, got the got pumpkins in here. Got uh, these guys figured out. So it's... I know I said I wasn't going to use a square build, but eh, you know, <laughs> why deny who I am, you know? And I am a symmetrical person, what can I say? Oh, well, I'm sure there's a, a term for that. Someone that's a fan of symmetry. I don't know, OCD, whatever. Um, 
All right, what else? Oh, uh, in the corners, rather than putting logs like I've done before, I just put the little things that I use to, uh, things that I need to, uh, the different tools that I need to use. Oh, and I went, <laughs> whoops, that's not what I wanted. What? Oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. There we go. Um, I went to Desolot and I ripped out all the bookshelves and the <laughs> the anvil and the enchantment table. And then I realized that was unnecessary. I don't need it here. I have all that in the end, at the ender ender. So I feel kind of dumb about ripping that out, but I have it at least. Um, with the fix to uh, mob glitching, this no longer has to be too deep. It can just be the one. And the whole reason to have these corners here is for me to get in and out. Nice and easy. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I start, I ripped out the tunnel. Uh, so I figured I brought a bunch of nether back with me and I'm going to start cooking it. So I got these corners with uh, the furnaces. I got a crafting table here. I might just put another crafting table here. Um, once I seal this off. Now, as far as the chests go, one of the things that I said I wanted to do all along was have the the chests inset in the walls, and that's still my plan. Uh, and yes, I know I could use item frames, but they're not as good as I hoped they would be. Uh, it's I've been mean, you know tinkering with tinkering with them since they came out and here's my here's my irritation with them when you get up and close if you're kind of looking on the right hand side of my screen right when you normally go like that they kind of disappear and you turn back and they reappear and that little flickering that occurs bothers me all right so the little guys can get up into the corner here and kind of get out a little bit so this is not a perfect system I oh yeah I'm tempted to make this too deep again but I haven't been making a lot of the baby ones, so it's... Well, I guess it's going to be relatively common if I'm going to be um, carving them up for food. Hmm. Alright, so that might be something I'll do in a different episode. Oh, check this out. I hadn't seen this used anywhere else, so this might be a first, but the... the, the I don't know, what are they called? Are these called rugs? Carpet. Uh, the carpet works perfectly on water. Look at that. This whole thing is water. Haha, -ha, you don't fall through or anything. Pretty sweet. I like it. And there's a little bit of wood right there. I'm going to rip that out and fix that right now. So you guys can see that process here. It's pretty straightforward. Now, if I had thought ahead with this build a little bit more and and you know I know that I said that I didn't want to do it all in creative because I like like you guys see in the process but there are some things that <laughs> I'm realizing now that really can be done in creative it's not the end of the world and this is one of them and one of the things that I would have done different is I would have built a I would have planned for the basement because I've had to go back through and I've almost died a bunch of times because the where I'm standing here should have been the basement and then I should have built above it. And I, I you know, could still do that if I want to because none of this is, you know, permanent, which is one of the nice things about having this, uh, this build up in the air as opposed to, you know, uh, on the on the ground or in the ground, which you could totally build it that way, but I wanted to do something different and I really kind of wanted to showcase you know what what's possible um, and, and, and what I'm what I'm capable of uh, and, I, and this is still barely scratching the surface I haven't done anything here that's automated um, I'm trying to showcase my um, what you call it my build technique I guess a little bit like this, uh, the, like the pen build here, which I'm going to put back to normal. Um, I like having that in there. Um, so as far as like design aesthetics, uh, one of the things I'm trying to work on and I'm trying to to learn from is you know what you know mixing different blocks together, figure out which ones work well, um, different colors, textures, blah blah blah. So I could have flat walls, but I thought you know 
It might be fun to put the the chests in set like that, since they're going to be in the walls. Um, oh, yep. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Jeez. Part of me thinks I might want to rebuild this and make it bigger to allow for a bigger pen, but I really don't want to have that many in here in the first place, so I do not know. Uh, anyway, um, what I... Sorry if I bumped the mic there. Um, I haven't decided if I want to just have an inset around the chest or if I want it to be inset the whole way down because I'm going to be having this whole thing with chess. And I thought about using just single wide, but I, I think I like the double better. Um, besides, if with this sign here, I can't access the chest, but I can if I aim down a little bit lower. Oh, and yes, I did figure out the, uh, the clay thing. I felt like a total doofus. I wasted so much of it. I knew there was a part to cook it, but I couldn't remember why I didn't. It's not that I didn't remember. I'd never done it before. Um, and I was just too lazy to research it. Um, what else? Uh, I'm not, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this roof here. Uh, or for right now, ceiling. Um, it, it's really, I don't know, it's appropriate height, but with everything that's going on in here, with how, with how busy this room is, it seems really low. I mean, I don't necessarily want to do like a, like a vaulted ceiling. But, um, I don't know. I'll think about it. Oh, and how I got the grass up here, uh, I used my silk touch pick, popped one from, like, in the water over there, and just set it down underneath the, the grass here. Or not the grass, but the fence. Because the cool thing is, if, you know, if you guys are ever looking to do this, this, this pen build, uh, put it underneath the fence. They won't eat the ones underneath the fence, but they will spread because the because uh, fence is considered transparent and light is getting to it. So, um, so yeah. So as far as this goes, I'll, I'll tinker with some designs and figure that out. And I'm not convinced that I want to use the oak planks. Um, I might use something. I might use the spruce, which is a lot darker. Um, and then, yeah, again, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this, with the ceiling here. Um, as far as, like, the little bit of, you know, pass-through that you can see uh, right there, that's okay, because that's going to be, there's going to be an outside layer where I'm going to use the, uh, uh, it wasn't in here. Oh, I grabbed a couple extra just in case. Uh... Where was I just looking at that? Was that over here? Oh yeah, in the furnace chest. Um, I'm gonna use the uh, the stained clay on the outside. Um, kind of match this. It's gonna be uh, green with the with the white accent. Um, so that'll be going all the way around. So you won't be able to see through that. I figured that'll be one of the last things that I do with this build. Um, okay, let's see what else did I miss here. No, no, that that seems that seems to about covered as far as catching you guys up. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I want to make it any bigger because I'm trying to keep this whole thing as you know as condensed as possible. Because um, I want to go with you know simple um, utility um, and such. Let's see. Oh. Um, as far as resources go, I'm getting really low on diamond because I haven't gone mining for a while. There are at least uh, four caves around that I found. Um, I don't know if they are all like the same cave or um, if they're all separate or what. Um, now, there is that... I don't know if I've shown it or you know focused on it much but there is a uh, there is a, a house that I saw that is kind of over there um, by a village and things and so I don't want to impose too much on that player I don't know whose it is I didn't want to go exploring it um, uh, you know to, to, to ruin any sort of future tour opportunities but uh, yeah so, 
Excuse me. So we might be looking at doing that, uh, going, doing some caving here in the near future. See, the, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to lower this. Oh, don't die! Get in there. And the reason why, because I don't want these guys to trample. Now, I don't have like a fixed number that I want to have in here. I just brought the sheep up. I figured if I had four, then if I, you know, one or two die, then I'd be okay. Because um, I need, uh, I'm gonna need a lot of the. Uh, the, the green wool, because I'm going to do that in the uh, the uh, tunnel. Oh, which, by the way, as far as that goes, I had to um, tell you what, while I'm, while I'm telling the story, I'm going to start working on the other stuff here. Um, let's, I'm going to keep that for at least a little bit longer, but I can huck this down there. So, oh, jeez, look at all the mobs. Goodness, am I alone? No, high rolls on. All right, let's boink. Yep, you got through the fence. Oh, dang! How did he get in here? Jeez. Yes. Okay. Battle. Ah. Oh, gosh, let me tell you. The uh, zombie babies... Now, the wiki says that they spawn like 5% or whatever, but I've been seeing them like crazy. And those things are evil. They don't catch fire in, in, in sunlight. Yeah, they... And I've seen them with armor on. They are fast. They have a small hitbox. Oh, they, they are... They are the devil as far as mobs go. <laughs> um, die, skeleton. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, I did get the... Um, let's, let's go up. Oh, speaking of the devil. <laughs> they make kind of a cute growling noise, though. See if we can hear it. Oh, jeez! I wasn't... How did he hit me through the fence? There we go. Kind of hear him. <laughs> oh, man. There it is. Yep. All right. So, um, yeah. So, I've got the... I've got the uh, the hub start... Or the nether hub tunnel started for this. Take you guys over there in a minute. Um, I'm going to... And I could do, I could lever, or I uh, leverage. I could take the new information that I've gotten about the rugs and what, and I keep calling them rugs, carpet, and go, you know, redo the tunnels that I've already done. But, eh, what, what fun would that be? None, that's what. Uh, so, what I'm going to do with this tunnel is I'm going to leverage the carpet, kind of in the same way that uh, that uh, Hyrule and Rot did. Um, they kind of inspired me. Uh, and I'm going to use the hidden lighting that I did here in the house um, as well. So it should be a pretty cool tunnel. Oh, now you want to come up. Uh, let's see. Oh, it ended up like... Cru did he? Okay, he didn't die. Uh, it came, it, I had to, like, make a bank turn, and if I wanted to, to not cross any tunnels, I would have had to start on the second story of the nether hub, which, A, I didn't want to do, and B, that's a whole separate build, and that's something I'll be doing at a later date with you guys. But, uh, because we're starting to get, dang, I'm burpy, excuse me. We're starting to get pretty uh, pretty full on that. Um, plus, lately I was talking to a couple uh, a couple people to, uh, tonight and the other day. There's like something like 18 players on the server, but um, I haven't seen very many on recently. And I don't know if just because of schedules or if people just aren't active or. Or, or what, but, um, I mean, the, the primary goal of the server is, is for this Let's Play, but, 
Um, one of the benefits of having it as a server is that means there can be other players for, for three benefits. One, um, for doing tours, you know, to kind of give... Uh, you know, different things to, to showcase in the episodes besides what I've made. Two, uh, for collab builds um, and projects and things like that, which we haven't done any yet. We've done some collab episodes, but I really would like to get some collab builds where we work on stuff together. Like, you know, so-and-so is responsible for this part of it. So this other person is responsible for this part, you know, things like that. And then three, um, it gives me uh, inspiration. You know, and if I come across some cool builds, it might be, you know, and then and especially after I get a tour, I might be like, oh, you know, it's not that I want to rip it off, but it might make me think, oh, hey, that's a cool idea. Now I kind of want to do this. So, but, uh, so I don't know. It, it might mean that I want to, uh, I might be looking to add a couple more players soon. I'm not sure, but just know, guys, that it is not application-based. I'm not going to be taking anybody that asks to be on the server. It's only going to be people that I seek out and that um, that I, I think would be a good personality match. I'm not going to take anybody on referral. It's um, and it's only going to be people that have um, active vanilla. Uh, Minecraft episodes on YouTube because I, I, I want I want people that are actually going to do their part and not just you know come on here and build and do their own thing I you know it's a requirement that you got to be on Skype and YouTube so um, okay so I think between now and the next episode I will try to get that interior figured out a little bit more with the walls and what else Oh, we might do some caving. I'm, I, well, I'm not going to do that between now. I, I'd want to include you guys on that. Um, yeah, I'm not not quite sure, but uh, um, anyway, I just wanted to catch you guys up because I spent a lot of time working on all these all these bunch of little things that just really didn't seem uh, entertaining. And I, I I'm not I haven't been all that thrilled with the last couple episodes that I've done for you guys. So I want to make sure that whatever you guys see is fun and uh, educational as well as entertaining so i hope i've accomplished that this episode and we'll see you guys in the next one